Well, we're going to take a turn now and tell you about dramatic tales of survival. Passengers who were on that Costa Concordia cruise ship when it ran aground, well, they're speaking out three years later. NBC's Josh Elliott has got that story this morning. Hey, Josh, good morning. Good morning to you, Savannah. 32 people died in those first horrible hours afterward, and because of that, last month, the ship's captain, Francesco Scatino, was sentenced to 16 years in prison for a variety of charges, including negligence and multiple manslaughter. Now, though, six people who lived through that terrible night are sharing their tales of survival. It was what so many aboard had hoped it would be, a floating fantasy. And as the more than 4,000 passengers and crew boarded the Costa Concordia three years ago for a seven-day Mediterranean cruise, what was to come would have been understandably inconceivable. Life on board as a dancer was very exciting. It was a wonderful life. We got to explore foreign lands. Rose Metcalf had recently joined the cruise line as a dancer. Metcalf says the night of January 13th, 2012, was like any other on a pleasure cruise, until it wasn't. I was talking with my friends when suddenly I was thrown back in my seat, and then it was like an earthquake. The entire vessel was shaking violently. And there was 30 seconds of just this violent shaking and this loud, deafening sound. So I jumped over the back of the seat and I peeled away the blind from the window and directly behind the window was land. So my immediate reaction was, we've hit land, we're going to sink. The Costa Concordia had been ripped open after striking a rock. And within minutes, the well-appointed luxury liner had become a death trap. I was standing on a doorway, and it's very difficult to understand what that's like, but when your gravity is shifted, that the side becomes the bottom. So I was standing on a doorway, and the drop down into the water was severe. So I didn't have a clear jump because of the tilt. So we were effectively stranded where we were. I couldn't see any way I was going to make it off the ship safely. So I sat very still where I was. I was watching the water rise. And at that moment, I absolutely made peace with the fact that I might die and that I had lived a very good life. And then I thought about my parents and what effect it would have on them if I didn't make it. And it was at that point that really my fire kicked in and I was like, I can't let them down. Rose Metcalf not only survived the wreck of the Costa Concordia, but led several other passengers and crew members to safety. She now lives, Savannah, in Colorado. And this is just one of the survivor stories you're going to be talking about on this special on Sunday, right? Yeah, it's a remarkable thing. Again, it's 9, uh, nine Eastern, 8 Central, uh, various tales of survival. Again, uh, here on NBC. It's part of the Escape series. It's the first of three. And among the many things you see, it wasn't just tenacity and bravery that allowed these people to survive these disasters. You see really the role, however unfortunately, that blind luck plays in yeah. so much. Yeah, absolutely. Josh Wright, we'll look forward to the series. Thank you.